I recently picked up a limited edition discontinued Louis Vuitton piece. So if you'd like to see what I picked up, just keep watching. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Amber Marion. If you're new here, hey girl, hi. If you're not new here, welcome back as always. How are you? Before we get into today's video, I need a huge favor. Take a quick little look down below and make sure your red subscribe button is hit subscribe. If it's not, go ahead and click that thing right now because you might as well subscribe because why not? As you can tell by the little intro you just saw and the title of the video, I'm super excited about today's video. I am going to be unboxing Louis Vuitton's limited edition League of Legends bum bag. I am so excited about this bag. I absolutely love bum bags. I absolutely love the design of the LV bum bag in particular. I just made a reel the other day saying how it is my favorite bag. People ask me all the time what my favorite bag is and I'm kind of always at a loss for words but since becoming a mom it's definitely my LV bum bag. So if you're not following me on Instagram and you didn't see that reel I don't know why you're not following me but go ahead follow me there as well. After I posted that reel, of course, I had to online search and shop, and I was able to find another Louis Vuitton bum bag on Rebag. If you didn't know, Louis Vuitton actually discontinued the bum bag style. They brought back a sort of bum bag. They're calling it a bum bag for this year, but it is a little different. It's kind of like a puffer material. It's not the same style, but they've essentially discontinued my favorite Louis Vuitton bag ever, the bum bag. So I knew I had to go to the pre-loved world to try to find one and I'm so excited with what I was able to find and pick up from Rebag. I couldn't be happier and I think we should just get right into it. So the bag I picked up from Rebag is actually the Louis Vuitton limited edition League of Legends monogram bum bag. Basically the regular bum bag style. There's a few things that make it a limited edition. As always, you know I got you with the close-ups of the bag. So let's get into that and then we'll come back and chat. So now that you've seen the close-ups of the bag, let's get kind of into the other end of details about the bag. So when the bag initially came out in the end of 2019, early 2020, it did retail for $18.90. I was able to get it on Rebag for $20.85. I'll throw up a little screenshot. So Rebag actually described this as not in one of their best conditions. So I was a little nervous and a little skeptical. There was two or three more the exact same style, better conditions, but priced a lot higher. And I just didn't want to pay that much, honestly. So, and I also wasn't worried about it being in perfect condition, being that it's my mom bag. And that's literally why I'm so obsessed with this style from Louis Vuitton. It just works perfectly as a cross 
the chest bag for me as a mom. Both my hands are free. I don't have to worry about Brix's feet getting tangled in any crossbody straps and everything I need is right here close in reach. So I absolutely love the bum bag style for that reason and that reason alone. So I wasn't too worried about the condition Rebag had it listed in. It wasn't the worst condition, so I felt like for the price, um, I was getting a deal, more or less. As you guys just saw in the close-ups of the bag, you can see it's literally in pristine condition. I see no scratching on the hardware, no, no creasing on the leather. One thing I will say about Rebag, I've said this before on my channel, and I am no way affiliated with Rebag in any way, shape, or form, but the one thing I will say about Rebag is I feel like out of all of the... Um, I'm not sure what you call these apps and brands, like luxury consignment, I guess you would call it, luxury consignment apps. Out of all of the luxury consigner apps and brands, I just really feel like Rebag is the most accurate when describing their items. They're the best for, I feel like, selling items too because they're very fair with pricing as well as very transparent. So I just really happen to love Rebag and now I love them a little bit even more because I was expecting, you know, the handles to be a little patinaed. I was basically expecting to look like the bag to look like it had been worn before and in my expert opinion, it looks like it's never been worn. So I feel like that was definitely a steal for it being only $200 more than the retail price when it's a bag that is not only a style that is discontinued from the designer, but it's also a limited edition print that's on it. So I felt like I got a really good deal and I got another one of my absolute favorite bags. So it was like a win-win for me. So a little background story on what makes this particular bum bag a limited edition. Back in 2019, Louis Vuitton collaborated with Riot Games on their League of Legends video games. I know nothing about video games, so I know nothing about <laughs> into detail other than this was the very first time that a major fashion house teamed up with an e-sport game. So... <laughs> I hope I said that right. And to be perfectly honest with you, when the bag first came out, when the collection first came out, I never even questioned why or what the collaboration was. I just really loved, like I said, the camo kind of inspired blue, white, and silver on the bag. So when the collection first came out, Louis Vuitton describes it as a mix of femininity with sporty allure. And they actually dressed one of the video game characters, I'm assuming, I don't know much about the video game, in head to toe Louis Vuitton. I will insert her here. And let me just say, sis is cute, okay? She got the earrings on, she got the arch light sneakers. She is cute in her head to toe LV, okay? Another detail on this bag, you probably saw it in the close up as well that is not on the regular bum bag is the zipper pull actually has like this triangle kind of logo situation behind it and that is the League of Legends logo. If you have seen my bum bag unboxing here on my channel, if you haven't, I will throw it up somewhere on the screen. I did get my bum bag in the end of 2019. And to be honest with you, it took me like about a year to wear it. I thought it was cute. I wanted it because all the girls were wearing it. Everybody had it. And then I was like, well, not everybody had it, but the it girls, the girls who get it, get it. You know what I mean? So... I had the bum bag for like a year. I really didn't wear it. So when this bum bag came out, I had just gotten my bum bag, but I had seen this one and I really did love the limited edition print on it. Not so much that it's a limited edition. I just love the blue, white, and silver because I think you can get a lot of different wares, especially mixing the silver with the gold hardware. So it really works out great to kind of go with anything that you want to wear. And when it came out, I just... I didn't know I was going to love bum bags like I did, so I was like, there's no reason to have a second bum bag, especially because it is the monogram print, so it's very similar to my bum bag. But now, if I could have every single bum bag in this style that Louis made before discontinuing them, I would. I'm going to try to. That's my new life mission. I'm on a hunt. This whole time I've been saying a blue, white, silver camouflage motif on the bag. There's also black in there. So that makes it even more versatile. I just absolutely love that 
the print that makes it a limited edition is a very practical print and a print that can go with everything. Sometimes when these brands make their limited edition pieces, they're just not practical for everyday use. But I get it, limited edition. But this, I'm so excited to start using. I'm really happy with my purchase. I know I say that in almost every unboxing, but I really am super excited about having been able to pick this up. I cannot wait to wear it. I'm actually gonna start wearing it today. So I'm definitely super excited to start using her, having her in my collection, give my other bum bag a rest. There's really only one more print of bum bag that I'm trying to get my hands on. I will insert a picture here because you never know. Santa or somebody might just be watching this video. This is the one. If you saw my most recent What's in My Purse video, it's been a while. I think it's been about a year. I actually showed how much you can actually fit in the bum bag. I know there's a lot of videos here on YouTube where people will give you reasons not to buy the bum bag. Listen, if you want a reason to buy the bum bag, come to me because I will give you a hundred reasons to buy the LV bum bag. Well, you can't get it anymore because it's discontinued, but you get what I'm trying to say. I'm super excited to be able to add this bag to my collection. There's like two more styles of discontinued bum bags that I would love to get my hands on as well. So hopefully in the future, I'll be unboxing those. But as of right now, I'm on cloud nine with my purchase from Rebag. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to start using it. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you're leaving me a little thumbs up down below. And if you aren't already subscribed but made it to the end of the video, don't be petty. Hit the little red subscribe button. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.